Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to teach you how to create your own theme for your iPhone, iPod Touch, and a 3.0. What you got to know first is that you're going to need an open SSH to work. If it does not work, then you got to find some alternative way to do it. So let's get started here. Alright, first you need a folder, and inside that folder you have four things. An icons folder, a dock, a mini dock, and a wallpaper. If you have a video wallpaper in your background, you don't need a wallpaper PNG file. You can just get rid of that. The wallpaper has to be a 320 by 480. The mini dock has to be a 320 by 37. And your dock has to be a 320 by 91. Now for the icons, like I said, you have to make a folder. And inside you must have the exact same name that it has on your iPhone. And it has to be a 59 by 60. As you can see, these are my docks. This is what goes on my iPhone. Alright, the best tool you can use to make a an app, custom app, is using Photoshop. You can also use Paint, but that's much harder. I just got this image off of Google. It's a 320 by 320, so it's a big, larger image. And what you do first is click on the image and select all. Go to image, and then go to image size. Now change it to something less than 60 by 60. So I'm going to change it to 40 by 40. Okay, you can see there it's pretty small. So now what you do is go to select all, then go to edit, copy, then go to the other image that you're going to put your picture on and select paste. Now to get rid of that white edge, you got to go to your eraser tool. It should be magic eraser tool and just put it over the white edge and it should disappear. And to move it, you got to use that little mouse with the little arrows aside it. And that's how you do it, guys. And to save it, you gotta go to File, Save As for Web and Devices. It should pop up another window. And make sure it's a PNG24 file. And then save. And name it whatever the icon you wanna replace. It has to be the exact same name, or else it will not work. And now to port it into your iPhone or iPod Touch, you gotta drag that file. What first you gotta do is go back and go to Stash, then go to Themes then drag the folder into the themes folder once you do that go to your winter board and check on it and it should work if you have any questions just message me and guys I have a Twitter account so if you wanna hear my daily feedback or updates go on there and follow me there and guys um, I wanna say sorry for this video because I had to go really fast the video recording from my computer screen crashes every single time so I really had a big patience to be restarting my computer five times just for a minute long recording so hey guys you probably don't care but I'm just telling you that so hey guys Elite Killer see ya please rate comment and subscribe